Hi, how's it going? Hello. Hi, uh, my name is John Zaragoza. I'm the owner of Birreria Zaragoza. Um, it's the birreria, the only birreria that serves um, birria tatemada, and uh, it's a great, it's a great meal, you know. So welcome. In a different state, you know. And in order to, to go into Mexico City, you have to cross La Barca, and La Barca means boat. You know what I mean? So they used to unload all their whatever it was, their game or whatever it was, you put it on this big boat, cross the river, unload or load again, and then take off towards Mexico City. Hence the name of the market. So, and it's been known for its beauty for a long time. And this is that sauce that I'm telling you, that's you know about seven or eight herbs and spices. And this is really what spikes it up. It, it just brings out all the flavor and the beer. Here. Are those um are are they ar arbol? Yeah. Chili de arbol is that? Right. Yeah. Okay. And then the sauce that you have there, the tomato sauce. Yeah. The salsa because uh, the salsa consomme. Uh, it's made with tomato spices. It's almost the same spices as this one, but different the tomato. Excellent. Thank you. What is it? Oh, thank you very much. No so here's what we'll do, right? This one here, this is this is already. Cook, right? Uh -huh. Remember I was telling you how it's, there it is, see? Uh -huh. It shouldn't be wet. It shouldn't be like in a soup or anything like that. Uh -huh. yeah, this is the texture that you want. Now from here, and what you, what you want to do here is, is you do this, right? And that's how it works. Now, Remember I told you sometimes when you when you cook, if the goat is really tender and you go past you know, the four hours, what have you, this is what this is what you'll get. And I don't know if you want that. But this is and this is the size of the goat that we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the most expensive, you know, but and that's why people come back because they know it's it's tender. So you it looks like you just I mean it's just sort of like a light a light coating. You don't you don't slather it on, right? No, no. It's just to give it some flavor. Uh huh. Let it sit. All right. Yeah. Remember, I told you about la pistolita, the gun, the little gun. Mm -hmm. How's that it, huh? This is the pistola. See, okay. see right here. Yeah. That's yeah. the gun. This is. If they get, if they get this, they are the happiest folks. They're like, I got the gun. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then that, remember, you said, well, you only have a few to go around. Yeah. And. Well, yeah, this is like one of the few that's left over. So, and you try, that's why you try to keep it together. Uh -huh. And you don't want to overcook the goat because then you lose the specialty, you know. What is it about the, uh, the pistola that people like? It, it, it's a, um, back in the old days, you know, it's like if you got the little pistola, the gun, they love, this is the meat, obviously, the tender meat, uh -huh. right? But when you set it on a plate and you put the sauce over it, it just looks very impressive. Yeah. You know? it, it's like the kings back then. They used to have that big old leg of, you know, whatever it was. That, that's what this is. Yeah. You know, the king, you're the king, you got this. You know? I got this. It's like a trophy almost. <laughs> oh, this is the espinazo. Okay. Uh, the, and that's what people will say, hey, quiero espinazo, you know, so you have to... Give them a little piece of that because that's where the flavor. Remember, I was telling you, yeah, yep, right yep. here. Yeah. You know, once it's cooked. Yeah. That's exactly what happens. So if they know their their stuff, they'll come in. They'll ask for surtido, and surtido should be aldilla, espinazo, you know, la pistolita. If they want a little piece of that, sort of. Now, a lot of folks will say, "Hey, you know, can you give me some kidney? Uh -huh. You know, or liver? I'm sorry, liver. So. 
the same guys that'll say it's what deal they want this. They want I gotta this. ask for that myself. When I was uh, yeah. talking to uh, Jonathan on the on the phone the other day, he said uh, he referred to that as like a. He said something like, uh, you know, the guys that come in and want the manly parts. <laughs> or, is that what he's re that's what yeah, he's referring yeah, to? Yeah, they want, you know, they're not skeptical. They want, they want to make sure it's chivo. Yeah. And the reason I try to keep the, uh, I try to keep the bone there is because the only way you'll know that it's chivo is if you see the bone. That's why I like standing out there and chopping the bone so people say it is, it is chivo. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the head is the one that looks for people that are not birria lovers. They're like, oh my god. Ah, we're not afraid of that though. <laughs> Oops. That up. And then, of course, we have, you know, more meat. Then we we'll come over here. See, oh yeah. There's some meat already, you know. And do you remember the juice I was telling you about? Uh huh. You know, it's it's that's the flavoring too because you see it there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dehydration process. Uh huh. But you don't want it too dry. All right. So what I normally do, I grab this here and I divvy it up again. When the parts, ideally, they're alive and they're complete, like this one here. Uh huh. Now it's easy for me. See, there, there's the aldilla. Uh huh. Look, there it is. It's, it's really, really thin. Okay. Now, here's what we'll do. Put that on this side. Look, pistola también. Pistola. Yep. Spot for this one. You want to have your pieces organized here. You know, you want to have your your uh, pistolitas on one side. You got your ribs on one side, and then you got the regular meat on the other side. So, anytime they ask for a special dish, surtido, you know exactly where to go. 